So I'm just going to run through a quick video on double unders. Uh, double unders are pretty high skill, they're a difficult one that a lot of people I feel have trouble getting. It takes a long, long time to get your first one, but then you, at least you can get your practice in. So a really good place to start if you've not got any double unders is uh, jumps, so to get the rhythm. Double unders, a lot of time in, a lot of rhythm, uh, moving the rope at the right time, moving the hands at the right time. Good one to start with is just uh, tap jumps. So get your double under jump, get that rebound, and then what I want you to do is double taps at the top of the jump. So what that does, that simulates sort of as you're at the top of the jump, is spinning the rope because that is where you need to make the speed on the rope to get the rope to go around and pass around twice is while you're at the top of that jump, that double tap simulates the double spin of the rope with your hands. So that's all it's going to be, move that out of the way. It's just that double tap to simulate and get that timing of spinning the rope when you're at the top. So that is one good thing, to really good thing to practice and also stops you tripping on the rope all the time. Gets a similar sort of movement, gets you into the pattern but without tripping on the rope all the way through. Next thing to think about is listen for the rope. Listen for the sound of the rope hitting the floor. Hopefully you can hear that if that click of the rope hitting the floor, uh, that gives you a timing for when you're jumping, when you're spinning the hands, and it helps you stay in that rhythm. So really listening for the click of the rope on the floor is a good one. If you do keep catching your feet at the front of the rope, uh, jumping and you're catching your feet at the front, think about where your arms are, because a lot of the time what happens is as you get going, obviously you start your hands down, you can hopefully see on the, on the camera there, there's a lot of slack in my rope, but as I start going, my hands get wider and wider and wider and wider. And now, look where my rope is passing, it's hitting straight into my legs. So the rope's a lot shorter when your hands are out here than when they're in here. So a really good rule is keep the handles, keep your hands down and in front. So you can see them in the corners of your eyes. So when you're skipping, you keep them here. You can see the handles in the corner of your eyes. That's going to keep the rope down and allow there enough room for the rope to pass around your feet. So get those on, get those things on point. Start with the, the, the taps, that's gonna give you the rhythm. Keep those hands down and in front, and then listen for the sound of that rope going round. And when you put it all together, your double unders will come together a lot more quickly.